idea for the Sarajevo Arts Festival when Nada showed me the book Sarajevo Survival Guide by Swata Kapic. And I uh, saw from the book that all of these art projects were, were coming out of this city that, that we had been seeing in the newspaper as being ravaged and, and torn up and, and divi divided by all these controversies. And yet it seemed to me that, uh, that there, were, there was a tremendous unifying of the art community and a, um, a, a great spirit there. I received several letters from Sarajevo of my friends who, who just uh, didn't talk about, about war, who talk about what they are doing in theater, what they are doing as designers, um, uh, what they are doing for cultural life in Sarajevo. And they thought that is really important what they are doing. And when I learned that Suada Kapic is here, and that uh, she has a book, Survival Guide of Sarajevo. Uh, I, I just wanted her to present that book in an arbor. It's a great honor for me today to be introducing Suada Kapic and her presentation. Um, she is an actress, theater director, head of the Fama Foundation, and she's currently a scholar at Columbia University. Well, they should know about these guys. I thought so. <laughs> That's, <laughs> so That's right. So if you would each introduce yourselves briefly, love it. Or Keith, go for it. I was going to introduce everybody. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> this is Robert Hershon, who is the editor of Hanging Loose Press in New York, which is one of America's fine, small poetry presses. Bob, say hello to Sarah How do you do, Sarah Yeah, no. And, uh, and this man speaks, he has absolutely no axe to grind. Uh, absolutely none. No, no, he's a totally impartial and uh, unbiased here. <laughs> and this is Ken Nikolowski, who runs a small letterpress uh, poetry press called uh, The Alternative Press, which is out, out of Ann Arbor here. It's been around for about 25 years. 25 years, which is only two years less than Hanging Loose Press. 27 years then. Between us, we have Between us we've got two oldest poetry editors in America. That's right. And this is Carl Ford, who owns this bookshop. Hi, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's an honor to, uh, uh, to have Ann Arbor stand with you in some small way today. And I'm Keith Taylor. I work for him. I work for him. And for him. <laughs> it was secret. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the name for the festival was originally given as kind of a joke because Sarajevo is probably one of the most, or was one of the most thriving artistic centers in, in all of Europe. And a Sarajevo arts festival in, in the old days would have. <laughs> You know, indeed, have been quite, quite an event, and and uh, and this was almost, uh, almost like like some terrible joke. You know, we had one book, we had one refugee our, uh, actor we were bringing over, we had um, Swada giving a lecture, we had a uh, one video, and uh, so we started calling it the Sarajevo Arts Festival in a tongue-in-cheek way, and somehow the name stuck. The centerpiece for the Sarajevo Arts Festival was a um, program that, that Nada put together. Um, it began with a theater piece that she had written, a short theater piece using um, uh, a famous um, poem by a uh, Yugoslavian poet and a, uh, a song written by Dragan, Dragan Pavic.
and it featured Dragan Pavich and um, two local actors, Malcolm Tulip and John Smenge. Stop it! Uh, and then we had um, a short dance piece that was written, uh, that was choreographed by um, Peter Sparling, who's a, a local choreographer, and um, it was called, I believe it was called Sarajevo, and it was about Sarajevo, who'd written specifically for that, um, performed by a, a, a local dancer and, and Peter. And then, and then we showed Sarajevo Ground Zero. This festival is an arbor, is only reply to, to artists in Sarajevo. We learn that they are doing art in the war time, and we just wanted to reply to them, not with humanitarian aid. They didn't ask for that, although we are doing everybody 
as much as they can to do that too, but through, through others' way. But this festival is actually reply on what they are doing there. Svake noći, svake noći prije nego što bi otišla u krevet, ono bi ušla u mračnu sobu. I duboko sakriveno iza prozora, iza nekih zavjesa, pronašla bi tegu sa vodom i u nju ubasila zrno pasulje. Every night before she went to bed, she entered the dark room and deep behind the window curtains, she would find a jar of water in which she put another bean seed. Da provjeri prvo da li je svanula da li sunce sija i da li je to zrno prokljeno. Every morning she would go to that window to see if the sun was shining and if her seeds had started to grow. Ovdje vidjela da je da zrno pliva po vodi i da se ništa nije dogodilo. But one day, long before sunrise, she heard a strange thumping. She saw that the walls were falling down. She felt the house shaking. She heard her parents screaming. She opened her eyes and saw a huge tree growing through the ceiling. She started to run to the window to see what was happening, but she already knew that one of her bean seeds had started to sprout. Dok je istrčala na prozor da vidi šta se događa, ona je shvatila da je zrno posulja počeo da klija u ogromnu stavu. When she went outside, she could see the street crowded with people and children who were looking at the tree, growing with unbelievable speed, higher and higher, so high that no human mind could imagine an end to it all. My name is Malcolm Tulip. I'm a playwright, an actor, a writer, a father, a husband, and... These photographs are by Ann Arbor photographer David Smith, and they're of my last theatre performance here at the Performance Network called Asylum Asylum, which had no text except the Lord's Prayer. So you got to tell me, go. Okay. Hi, my name is Jerry Mack. I'm going to show you a couple pieces of abstract artwork done with colored pencil, chalk, and ink. This is one. Hi. My name's Tom, and I'm working on this videotape that you guys are going to see. Have fun. Show your art to the artists of Sarajevo. Bring a piece of your art, physical or performance, to our video photo booth, and be part of a tape we are compiling to send to the arts community of Sarajevo. The artists there have been cut off from the rest of the world for over two years, and want to see what you are doing. You. What to do. Bring your art to the network. You will have 15 seconds to say hi and show your art. Sing, dance, recite poetry, show objet d'art. If you really need more than 15 seconds, you can have more. But it comes in 15 second bundles. Do they have to show art? Art is where you find it. I, would like, I want to encourage people to bring a piece of art. Now whether that's performance art or physical art, it's your choice.
Hi, my name is Rosalind Tulip, and I practice the art of mothering, midwifery, and I'm also a teacher, um, and a whole lot of other things that are artful. Hi, I'm Sebastian, and this is a picture that I drew. It's black belts, and here, a better view of it, and um, I just... My name is uh, Peter J. Beckett. Uh, this piece is entitled Ophelia. What I tried to capture when I created the piece was to um, capture an instance of beauty. In My name is Gigi Bosch, and I've lived and worked in Ann Arbor for over 20 years. I've brought a small embroidery done by my cousin, a picture of a quilt made by a friend of mine in Germany, and some copies of poems that have been very meaningful to me. I Play Flute is a book of poems written almost 30 years ago by a young American activist in the civil rights movement in the American South. It was a period of great turbulence and sometimes violence, although nothing like being under siege for two years. Nevertheless, upon rereading the book, it seemed that perhaps many of the poems might speak to your collective experience across both space and time. I send them to you with a heartfelt wish for peace. Hi, my name is Steve Keim. This is an inflatable rubber glove. Thank you. No applause? We hope these presentations can bring you something that you need to get through your difficult times. And uh, we know you are having great difficulty there. May peace come to you soon. What we hope to accomplish with the Sarajevo Arts Festival was we wanted to establish a link. We wanted to, we wanted to um, reach out and, and say that we we under, we understand you you sent a message you sent a message to us it was quite an inspiring message that that um, about what art can do a message that in times of of intense um, turmoil and pain and grief that that artists are still are still functioning and we received that message and we're we're sending back a message of art because we're artists too. You know Central Monday morning grill. Thirteen cars with thirteen restless riders. Three conductors, twenty-five sacks of mail. I hope it's not a trivial one. Here we are singing our old American folk songs that we that we always do, and um, I, I hope is not perceived as a trivial message. I, I, I hope it's just um, perceived as a, as a gift from one artist to another.
Paul Kazarin. This is uh, my art. Greetings to the people of Sarajevo, again. Hi, <laughs> my name is Tomoko. I came from Japan. I'm Joe Broughton, scenic and lighting designer by trade and the executive director of Performance Network, the theater in which some of the performances and clips you see have been taped. A theater dedicated to the creation of innovative and original work in all areas of performance. I send you hope and faith and support you in your struggle. I sincerely hope to see some of your work here very soon. When darkness has control, there's a way out of hell. And I want to tell. I want to tell. Can I say something first? Okay. We did Waiting for Godot at the Performance Network in this space in 1984 and again in 1992. Now, and this is dedicated to the performance of Waiting for Godot in Sarajevo. Was I sleeping while the others suffered? Am I sleeping now? Tomorrow, when I wake, or, or think I do? What shall I say of today? That with Estragon, my friend, at this place, until the fall of night, I waited for God, don't? No? 